Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to Memory Decks Monday. Today we are going to use some paint chips um, for our memory decks and I'm just going to grab another another style from over here and we are still celebrating Shelly. Uh, my granddaughter turned 14 this weekend, and she starts high school tomorrow with orientation today. So um, we are going to be uh, documenting Shelly. I'm going to actually use some pictures out of her drawer. So what I do, and I learned this from Stacy Julian, um, is each of my grandkids, each of my kids, my husband, myself, there's a drawer that's called Yaya's, which is my best friend's, and one that is my, um, the rest of my family, so my parents and my brothers. Um, so Shelly has her own drawer, and after I have documented um, a roll of film, so say the film from her 10th birthday, which this is from her 10th birthday, um, then the... and. These didn't go in there, or these were extra pictures. They go into the Shelly drawer. So I have the Shelly drawer out, and I actually have this picture here is one that I think I'm going to use today, and probably this. And what I'm doing is I'm actually going to start a, a memory decks um, file for her. Uh, here's a crazy hair picture. There's uh, an extra softball picture from years ago. Um, there she is with my mom on her graduation from elementary school. This is also that day. Um, her looking at her album that I made for her. So there's a variety of pictures. Here's one from softball from years ago. The Christmas a couple years ago. Dance. Um, her brother's birthday <laughs> so just a variety of pictures and I have a place to put them and when I need a picture of Shelly I can go here to this box so um, so I picked a couple of pictures I have some more in here and today I wanted to use paint chips so um, I have these ones and these just need to be cut down a little bit for my regular sized um, memory decks cards. These are the long ones and I got a bunch of these when a hardware store was going out of business. I went in and asked and <laughs> that was the only thing left in the store because they were taking everything out and, and redoing the store and um, they let me have all the paint chips. and there, So they were this type and then some of this type and some of this type so this is another size then these were from I think Studio Calico and it's a color theory yeah Studio Calico it's the 2014 color guide so it has a chip for each of the colors but what was really cool it also has numbers so, I thought if I was to document that picture from her 10th birthday, then I could do that. And, of course, she celebrated her 14th birthday on Saturday. So, um, look at there. It's flamingo. <laughs> um, so, and, and then you could also use these parts down here just with the word lemon zest. Could go on a lemony page, limelight. Um so you have those. Um, the other thing I have is I have these 4x4 four four cards. And these were from a Heidi Swap kit. And Shelly is loving mint. Um, mint, teal, and purple. As you saw in her banner. Those are her favorite colors right now. So, um, so I pulled this out. This is one of her um, cinch kits. So you're able to use the cinch machine with this kit. So the other thing I have is a card. And I'm going to cut out 
this wreath and this was a card that was sent to me with a swap and I try to repurpose most everything so um, so let's get started I have a few other things that I've that were just happened to be on my desk here and we'll be using those also so I think we will start with this but first let me take a selfie <laughs> Bye, Shelly. Whenever she's been visiting or I've been visiting them and I get my phone back, I get it back with selfies of her and her brother does the same thing. They go in there and they take pictures of themselves. And then when I'm going through the pictures, all of a sudden there's pictures. Um, it's, it's quite comical. And I actually, I look forward to it now. Very cool. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm cutting this one to be four by four. Okay, so this one is cut to be four by four, and I'm actually going to use this as my base. I have my Heidi Swap Memory Dex Punch, and I'm just going to go ahead and line it up and punch it. And so I have a base for my first card. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners. Okay. And you know this could be this could be done right here um, and go into my um, or her memory decks, but I am gonna go ahead. And see if I can find let's see I have a sticker sheet here and uh, that flower is too big that would have I would have liked to have used that but it's too big too big too big um, so what do we have That covers up too much. Of course, we always have these. Yeah, I think we'll just decorate with some flowers. And um, the other thing I have is I have this little daisy. I think we'll go ahead and <laughs> we'll see if the sew machine will work. I, in my new set up. I have my sew machine right here. So I'm going to go right over here and attach this on. I know on some of the other things that I've made, um, yeah, we'll cut it. come on, you can do it. Maybe not. <laughs> sewing machine and I'm not going to leave messy threads on here. <laughs> My grandmother would be very happy. She <laughs> she was a, a seamstress a, for, a, for um, Levi and her job was to check things and she was all, oh she hated strings. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of these little flowers. So we're going to pull out, we're going to actually open a new one. Liquid glue. I made a few books last week. So, let's see, yep. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just put a little glue, put it on. Um, these are the flowers that I got at Michael's in the bridal section a few years ago. 
Um, I wish they'd bring them back. And then we're also going to put a little bit in the center. And I have moved my bling into a drawer down here. It's kind of nice. Everything is much closer. Okay, so we'll go with a with the regular bling. And just put it in there. So this is one of the things I like to do with the with the memory decks myself is um, use up some of those pictures that have been that are, you know, you've already documented, made your main scrapbook pages, and you still have some pictures left over. Um, then I, I like to do, I like to do this. Okay, there should be some little, there they are. I was like, I should have some flowers that were left over from the, uh, the banner that I made for her birthday. camera shut itself off so um, I went back and deleted some some stuff we should have plenty of storage now room now so as you've seen I'm using uh, pictures out of my granddaughter's box of pictures I learned this from Stacy Julian I have a uh, box I have a drawer for each of the grandkids each of my kids my parents, my best friends, and my brothers, their families. So um, after I have documented or used the pictures um, from an event or just any that I've have developed after they've been used, and they're, these are the, the extras that were left over. So um, this is Shelly's box, and in the first video, I made this card. So I used the, the picture as the base and then added, um, added the embellishments to it. She, my granddaughter had already put, but first let me take a selfie. Um, so there we go. This is a selfie that I found in my phone uh, a few years ago after I had visited um, the kids. So the next card I made, and I'm so bummed because it was really cool, I used a paint chip. So I used a paint chip that was this size. I cut the words off, and then I went over and I cut to four inches. I rounded the edges, cut it with my Heidi Swap uh, Memory Dex punch so that I have my punch holes on the bottom and if you don't have a punch or dies I have done a video on how you can make um, how you can make your own punch your own um, holes down here so that you can still have a memory dex and make it yourself if you can't find the items out there um, so I've taken another picture uh, in my memory dex I I know that I need to have an inch and a half to two inches of the bottom need to, can only be four inches to fit in the to fit in the the little rack that I've made. But I can go out and I can go up, so that's what I've done. So um, this was a Heidi swap. Let's see if I can find another one. It's a um, one of her. I believe it's from the storyline cards. And I fussy cut around it, and so I have Be Brilliant, and then this is one of the small ones, it's Make Today Great. Then I've taken, and from my little dictionary, my little fat dictionary, I went and found the word brilliant, and I cut out the definition from in here, and then I put the page back into the book so that I do have it if I want to do British or brisket. I have, I still have those definitions. So I use that. I cut out brilliant. 
It's very bright or vivid, very clever or talented, excellent. Brilliance is a noun. Bright, shining, dazzling, gleaming, intense, radiant. So Shelly starts high school tomorrow, and this is the card that I'm going to make and that I'm going to text to her in the morning. And um, we all love this picture. This is from years ago, and my daughter took, the, took this picture. And um, and then this these cards are going into, I'm making her her own memory decks. So these cards will be going into her memory decks. And then um, it will be a perpetual gift. I can continue to add to her memory decks. And um, so this, and then I added this little heart um, that I got in a swap. And I also had cut these hearts from what was left after this. So this is using a paint chip. That's what today, one of the things today is using paint chips. Um, can write a story back here. Could go ahead and, you know, can put another paper back there. Um, but, and I will probably do that. So anyway, so that is the second one that I made. And now we are on the third one. So I have this picture, and um, this was, Shelly had found this picture in my phone, and she decorated it all up. It says pink, 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 and follow your heart. And so I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put this on another, um, another card. So we have um, these 4x4 four four cards that I have that... Uh, we're from a Heidi Swap kit, one of her cinch kits, and I, I don't know if I actually like this one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut this little border right here. Probably should use the, the cutter, but I'm just going to cut it. Looks like she was in my Rona's Designs app when she was playing with my phone. and um, So after I went home, I found these, um, this <laughs> all decorated in my phone. And they do, uh, they do that every time. So this was, like I said, it was from her 10th birthday. We play a game called Get Your Stuff. And this particular day, we were in Ojai for her party. And, um... It was really hot, so we did it inside. But Get Your Stuff is a game that I invented. Um, I'm sure there's other people that have played it different ways. And um, the very first time we played it was her fifth or sixth birthday. And I had a bunch of beach stuff, and we put it in a pile inside of a hula hoop. And we had, for that game, for that time, we had adults down standing at the where the pile of clothes was, and it, it had a, t a beach towel, a beach bag, suntan lotion, sunglasses, flip-flops, uh, a blown-up uh, inner tube, blown-up floaties, and so they ran down. They had to put everything on and then go back and take everything off and put it on the next, help put it on the next person, and it was a relay race. Well, this one was fashion. So she had this big round hat and she had a shawl and she had um, a feather boa and a purse and a crown and, and my Cinderella shoes and, and all this stuff. So she put it on and the person dressing her put the shawl over her hat. She looked like she was wearing a lampshade. Anyway, it was really cute. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and put this... Again, I, I like to do things at an angle. And then also, I have this card that was given to me in a swap. And I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut it out. I am um, very much about recycling and using up especially pretty things. This is really pretty. And um, I'm 
excited to be able to use it on that. I think this is going to be really cool. So, um, and I, and what I'm trying to do now is not like put this in my stash and leave it there. I'm trying to use things as soon as I can. I actually, with my new setup of my desk, I have a container, a little container that says use this now. It doesn't say that, but um, that's my thought is use this now. I kind of like it more like that. Okay, so go ahead and yeah, the glue's coming out. I just opened a brand new glue and I've already lost it. I don't know where it went. Okay, so on my cards, again, um, I can be an inch and a half to two inches up. Um, I need that I need to be four inches, just four inches wide, and then they can go out and be more full. So, and since Shelly's memory decks is also one of these that I'm making or that I've made, hers can also be the same, can go that far. Okay, so now we'll just put this on the back and. This is the Aqua Tombow glue. Um, it was suggested by I'm a Cool Mom, and I am really liking it. And the more I use it, the more I like it, the more I'm, um, <laughs> I'm getting used to the fact that it takes a couple minutes. The other thing is I, I do notice I have to, um, you know, I put it down, and then I need to put it down one more time. So then we're going to go ahead and add some of these flowers since they're out on the desk and that'll give us some uh, dimension and it will use up these flowers that are on my desk. <laughs> um, put a couple so that they're going onto the picture so that it kind of gives it... Um, Makes it look like it's part of it. Aha, cool, we have one more. Okay, and then I think we'll go ahead and add a dark one. I'm looking for the ones that have, they have like this little piece of bamboo or it's like a little bead in them. There's one more. Oh, I guess we shut off again. So, um, so we were. I just added these flowers to kind of give it a little bit of um, dimension. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the ten because this was her tenth birthday. And I kind of don't like that. Let's see. I have this. I will use this. So these are some Heidi Swap uh, letters that I have, or not letters and numbers. I think we'll go with. And then the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to add some glitter glue. So I have I have this one. ahead make sure we can pop the thing pull glue out 
Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and glitter the flowers here. And I just have a clear opalescent glitter glue that I'm going to use. And it is from the Creatology. I think I got this after a holiday. And um, it said, let's see, Christmas. So it was after Christmas, and um, I think I got it for like 15 cents <laughs> or 30 cents. So you want to watch after a holiday. Put a little bit of glitter on these, too. Okay. So we have that. And then... Since she wrote pink, 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 I'm going to look up pink. Oh, wow, who hoops in here? Um, it's funny, the other day uh, a picture showed up on Facebook of her hula hooping at her fifth birthday. L M N O P. I forgot what I was looking for. Sorry. Pink. Pink, pale red, a pink color, a garden plant with fragrant flowers. Best condition, cut a zigzag edge on fabric. So there you go. That's, those are the definitions of pink. Pinnacle is a pointed rock. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it back into the dictionary so that I can use the other definitions someday. Okay. Like this. And I did it off. So sometimes I have great intentions and they don't work. Like that is just not going to work on here. Okay. And it's nice having the glitter glue right here. I'll actually be able to use use it cuz it's it's right here. Okay. So there we have pink, pink, pink. So these are the cards today, so far. All about Shelly. As she celebrates her 14th birthday and starts high school. And then, um, so I want to show you uh, using, a, we have these other two paint chips. So one of the things you can do is, you know, of course you could just cut the pieces off that you want. You can stamp on them. Um, if you like the words, attraction, confetti, cheeky, rose glasses, glamour queen. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's going on there. So just another, and I'm going to go ahead because I want to people to know it's from a paint chip so I'm going to cut and leave a little bit of the white border and there we go we'll put that do we have time up oh. there we go just put some glue on the back of this. And that, I like that. That finishes that up. Okay, and we'll do it from the back. 
And again, I really like using my memory decks cards to um, preserve memories. So there we have Shelly, her 10th birthday. Um, and I used a card. I used one of the cards from Heidi Swap, a piece of the dictionary. And number 10, we probably should put something there since we don't have the full follow. And we'll just put one of these bigger flowers because they're right here on the desk. And put a little bit in the center. Grab some bling. Oh, it's up here. Right side bling is right here. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this Memory Dex Monday Make With Me. And featuring paint chips and Shelly. And so there you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or something you'd like to see, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.